what's up i hope you've been keeping well and i've been keeping well too but it's been a long time i haven't come back you know to talk to you to chat with you or just to connect so anyways today i just want to take you through on what i'm going to cook or prepare for my dinner for my family anyways if this is your first time you came across this my youtube channel please welcome to this small beautiful family and please remember to consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so anytime i upload any new content you're the first person to interact with me does that sound beautiful yes so welcome to my kitchen and let's get to do this together so as i said earlier welcome to my kitchen too now today what i want to do today or i want to prepare today is i want to grill pork but before we start doing that let me show you what i'm gonna use to do it so this thing i bought it i think last year it's been really doing quite good amazing job for me and um <laughs> Guys, as you can see, it's been, it looks like it's been doing some job. Yes. So this is how it looks like. This is going to be our grill pot or which name can you give it? I don't know. Yes. So that's what we're going to use. And again, I had marinated my pork before. I Like four hours ago, I marinated it and then put it, put it in the fridge. Yes, yeah, so let me remove it and show you how it looks like. So here is our pork or my pork. As you can see, it has a lot, not a lot, but kind of spices. It doesn't just look like it's really plain. So this is what I want to prepare for my dinner. So let's do this. So for those who maybe might might be asking how did I do it or what did I put or how long and you know like all those questions that you can ask yourself that how should you start doing this. So I just want to make it you know like really simple dinner or grab it in a simple way. What I did first, I removed it you know from the uh, fridge. And yeah, oh, anyway, I bought it first. Obviously, you have to buy. And after buying, I came home, uh, put it in the fridge a little bit. Then later, because I was still relaxing, I didn't want it to spoil. So I took it and washed it. And after that, I took my spices. Now, when it comes to spices, it depends with what you want to use. Because for me, I don't like a lot of spices. So what I did is I just used some Royco Cube and some beef um, beef masala or what is it beef spices let me say so <laughs> sorry for <laughs> saying it wrong but beef spices whichever the beef, beef spice that you use that's what i've used and um roiko sachet and salt that's what i put so because i just wanted it to be like almost natural taste so I didn't want to put a lot of spices. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to do uh, the real thing. So I'm going to take it piece by piece from my basin and put it that way. And uh, also for the second, Piece. Let me put it this way. You know, you know, as usual, this is just common sense. You have to see how you are balancing your meat on the grill or the whatever that way. It's a lot of meat, it's a lot of meat, of course, it's a lot, but we are not going to eat the whole of it today. I just wanted to um, cook it once. Maybe tomorrow we can also use it, um, eat it with something else yes as you can see it's same there's some ingredients or the some spices showing on top and now again instead of pouring out you know this this um juicy kind of instead of pouring it out all i'm going to do i'm going to pour it on top just like that 
yes and yes our pork or our meat is ready for the heat so first i'm not going to use the normal heat because this grill is just meant for uh, to use it on the gas or the cooker so, yeah don't mind me guys i'll use this uh, matchbox to light my gas is now on now we have heat already so what I'm gonna do is just to close it or to cover it like that did you hear the sound let me repeat it again yeah it comes that way so whenever you hear that it means it's really closed very well so I'm just going to take it put it on the heat just like that and make sure that I balance it, you know. And I'm going to leave it here now to start cooking slowly by slowly. It might take like around 20 minutes or 30 minutes, but I want it to cook on a low, low heat. Yes, so that the meat can, you know, uh, be soft or become soft as I want. Yes. So guys, I'm back to the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm back to the kitchen. Um, back to check if what I'm doing or what I'm cooking is really <coughs> doing the. It's happening the way I want anyway. Now I'm back to check the meat. So let's open and see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is how you open this thing. You come here, pull it a little bit up. Yep. Yes. Yes. So this is how our meat. You know. Um. I just want to hold on. I'm just going to use my fork to check. And by the way, before you do that, actually, this is what you're supposed to do. You should, oh, it's heavy. You should take it and shake it a little bit. Wow, like that. Then open it. Then we change now the upper part to go down that way i told you guys i just want to be simple yeah so as you can see it's it's um it's what can which which language can i use so guys okay, so as you can see i've turned the uh the other side the upside down i can say so and as you can see it's becoming uh, tender slowly by slowly yes actually i forgot to mention that as you are doing your grilling you should not just sit down and forget that everything is just going to happen like like magically so you have to come back and check and keep on changing upside down upside down so that the side which has become tender you know come up the other side goes down yes and vice versa so i've turned it and now again i'm going to cover it and i'll be back in 10 minutes so guys i'm back for the second time and this is actually after more than 10 minutes though yes actually it's getting cold here but first of all i'm gonna shake it and now open and see how far yes it looks yummy it looks yummy don't mind what i'm using because this is what is available for me right away i can't con go around looking for the right ah, look how tender it has become and uh, 
your son this one too actually it's almost done the meat it's almost ready guys whoever want to eat some grilled pork you can head to my kitchen yep let me show you something today i'm using everything wrong for the steak but i just want to try and show you that actually the meat is ready you see how soft i'm able to cut it oh not soft how easy you see and actually i'm not using the right fork to cut the right knife oh my god why am i confusing things the right knife to cut for um the steak but you can see it's ready so what i'm going to do now is just let it you know dry a little bit then uh, we can eat it like that with we are going to eat it with ugali and some vegetables and uh, of course when you're cooking you have to have a taste before you say hey yeah the food is ready so first i'm going to have a taste of this one and uh, yes it's a big push whatever though so let me just cut it again in small or let me choose this one i think this is small enough it will be enough for my mouth <laughs> it's really hot we're not hot with chili but it's just hot um. mm. delicious delicious yummy everything but now let me cover it so it can get a little bit dry yeah i'll be back in five minutes so guys um all i can say now according to how i like eating my meat i don't like it too dry oops <laughs> so my meat is ready if you like eating it like this without you know uh, letting it too dry then you can join me so this is the final result. Actually, it has taken me, I think, 30 minutes or more than 30 minutes, but not one hour. But this is because I wanted it to cook on a low heat, slowly by slowly, till my meat becomes soft or tender. Yes, yeah, so for now, I'm just going to serve this now with ugali. I just wanted to clip it again up. Let's see the other part. You see, it's really ready. So those who are hungry now can make their way to my kitchen. And as I tried earlier, you already saw how soft it is and how it was not even hard for me to cut it using even the wrong, you know, knife for a steak. But it was still, you know, cutting. So let me show you again. look look now you see it's really ready yeah and that's it for today and uh please remember to subscribe and hit my the notification bell yeah i'm done for the day and tomorrow i'm gonna do something again extra you know a good for you so yeah keep it up or keep it here <laughs> so guys 
I'm hungry and ask the, the chef. I'm going just to take my portion and start eating right away or let me serve me. Yes, yes, yes. Let me serve me. Okay. So that's this is going to be my dinner. You can see the pork really, you know, ready and it looks soft and it looks yummy. So this one is vegetable and skumawiki and this is ugali and this is my grilled pork. So this is exactly what I wanted to eat for my dinner. Mm. 